Okay, we have here today another problem for our Laplace transform playlist. We're asked to find the Laplace transform of e to the at. Okay, now to get started with this, of course, what we're going to do, we're just going to use the definition of the Laplace transform that I have over here to the right. And the thing to notice here is the Laplace transform is just an integral. So we have here, this will be, in this formula, this will be our f of t. So really, we just have an integral to calculate in order to find an expression for this Laplace transform. So let's kind of plug everything in. We'll use this formula. We're going from zero to infinity. We have e to the minus st, and we'll plug in our f of t, which is e to the at dt. But now here, because we have base e on both these things, we can actually just multiply this together and consolidate it. So what's going to happen is we're just going to add together the exponents, and I can write this as a minus s to the t dt. We'll just go ahead and integrate, and we're going to have e to the a minus s T, and then we just need to take this out in the denominator as a minus s, and this is all evaluated from zero to infinity. Now when we evaluate this, we just need to be a little careful because we're evaluating at infinity here, and we don't really know what these constants are at the moment. So let's do this as a limit. So we're looking at this as the limit as t approaches infinity of this whole expression, e to the a minus s t over a minus s. When we plug in zero here, we have e to the zero, which is just one over a minus s. We're gonna have one over a minus s. Okay, so now let's just deal with this limit. The thing to notice about this, so for a and s, we just know those as some number right now. We have no idea what this a and s is. It could be positive, negative, anything. The trouble we have is if a is greater than s, and we have some positive number here, when we plug in infinity, the whole thing's going infinity and it diverges. So we need this thing to converge in order for this to work. So let's just put the condition on this that s has to be greater than a. Because if s is greater than a, then this exponent here is negative. If we have a negative exponent and then we plug in infinity, we have like e to the minus infinity, and then this piece is going to zero. But then all we're left with is this piece right here. And what I can do is just rewrite this to clean it up a little bit. We can just distribute in this minus sign and reverse this. So we can write this as one over s minus a. And we're just gonna have this condition here that s needs to be greater than a. And so that's it. That's going to be our expression for the Laplace transform of e to the at. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.